It's time for our interesting stories chat with Richard Southern. And this is really exciting for space nerds like you and I, Richard. Just within the past couple of hours, we got a look at some of the most remarkable pictures yet of our universe. Past couple of minutes, this is fresh off, uh, fresh from way out of here, Erica, the James mm -hmm. Webb Space Telescope, situated way between the sun and, and Earth. This thing blasted off six months ago. It is the best telescope humanity has ever created, an infrared telescope, the successor to Hubble. And yes, it has just sent back its very first image. What it did, it zoomed in. Before we show it to you, I'll tee it up. It zoomed in on an empty piece of sky, something that Hubble did years and years ago. And it revealed many, many galaxies. Let's take a look here at the very first picture from the James Webb Telescope. Erica, every single point of light you're looking at is a galaxy containing billions of stars and perhaps trillions of planets. Look at that. It's astonishing. It's incredible. And look how clear it is. Incredible. Very much more clear than Hubble, apparently. And uh, it, it, even more impressive, I'm told, is the high-res version of this, which we will put a link to on our website, toronto.citynews.ca, in the next few moments. Uh, this telescope costs $10 billion, uh, to produce, and this is just the first picture. Tomorrow, they're going to release some more, even more stunning pictures, I'm told, and we'll bring you those tomorrow. But this is the deep field. Makes us feel very small, Erica, when we see all those little galaxies out there with who knows what going on. I right? know we feel very insignificant just taking a look at that but if you get a chance uh, definitely check it out on our website because it's it's really cool for me and for us anyways. Yeah. Okay back totally. down here on earth a chef was given an out of this world task and her final product <laughs> is well it's drawing mixed reviews. <laughs> So this is pretty fun, right? There's a gourmet chef on, on uh, TikTok, and they said, hey, can you make something gourmet out of this bag of McDonald's? They brought her a Happy Meal, basically. So it's like chicken nuggets in there, sweet and sour sauce, and French fries. This is Chef Amy uh, Bandwin. And what did she do? She took the fries, Erica. She blended them up. She made pasta with them. She cut out some pasta shapes. She filled the pasta with the uh, the uh part of the apple pie that was in there and part of the chicken nugget. And she made tortellini. The sauce for the tortellini was the McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. That's the final creation. <laughs> uh, there was a big outrage online, though. You know, what? the Italians were saying, quote, my inner Italian is raging here. But I think that's pretty creative, don't you? Absolutely. She's using her skills and she's elevating the fast food meal. I like it. That's okay. Uh, Sir Sir Lee, by the way, he's on TikTok. He does a lot of good, fun things like that, too. Yes, you look him up. He's I've good. seen it. It's very cool. Okay, we don't have a lot of time, but this last one, we're living in isolated times, Richard, but there's a great power in simply picking up the phone or typing a message to an old friend. New study out found that, yeah, calling an old friend out of the blue means a lot more to them than perhaps we realized. Uh, it found people significantly underestimate how other people appreciate being reached out to. The researchers found one interesting variable uh, was um, uh, how uh, surprised people were when they heard from yeah. someone that they hadn't heard from for a long time. And it really drives some uh, other studies that found uh, that maintaining social connections is good for both mental and physical health. So as mm -hmm. if we didn't know it already, a good reminder to pick up the phone and maybe call that someone you haven't talked to in a while and say hello. I'll concur. I think that's a great idea. Okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.